Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to some Forza Horizon 2 Drifting. And we're going to tear up this dock area here um, with these circle thingies. Um, never really drifted this area. Well, I have drifted it, but I've never shown it on video. Uh, it's a very good area to drift in, really. So you can get very smooth drifts, especially on the wheel, as you can probably see right now. Uh, we're tearing it up, which is perfect. Uh, but yeah, in a 240SX. V8 in this. Um, it is a tune by the Kev77, so if you want to find this tune, um, you can find it on the storefront, I guess. But I don't know if you brought it back down because I think it was a tune that he just wanted to for me to test out. So I don't know if it is still up there, but go check that out if you want to do that. Um, but yeah, got a very nice paint on this car. Um, it does say Riverside on the side of it. Um, in terms of that, I'm not going to say anything yet, but something might be coming in the future. Uh, but we're tearing the spot up right now, absolutely on point. Uh, I think this is the Kev 77 rolling up right now. I think. Oh god, it must be, because who else would roll up here? So he's in an S13, has clean white S13. Uh, maybe we could tear up this area, so it could be fun. Uh, get some tandems going hopefully. No, no, no! The amount of time I just spent drifting around there and I fuck up there. Like, why you do this? It's the pressure, it's the pressure. Uh, but yeah. Um, I've got something to talk to you guys about. Uh, basically, I'm going snowboarding uh, February the 13th, so don't expect too many videos around that time. Um, I'm going to try and stock up on some videos, but in terms of videos, they won't be the best quality because I've got to render them, I've got to um, record them, I've got to do all that in the amount of time that I will have, which kind of sucks, um, but, you know, I'm going away so I can't really help that. Um, but I'm going to try and pre-record some stuff for you guys, hopefully. <laughs> um, but yeah, just wanted to let you know that I am going snowboarding. I can't wait to be honest, I've never actually been uh, snowboarding abroad. Um, I only go on like the artificial snow that is around England, uh, which kind of sucks. Not going to lie. Um, it's not the uh, best snow ever, but it is artificial and it is quite literally quite similar to real snow. But it's going to be good to be actually on like a mountain, if you know what I mean. Just like see the scenery, get the atmosphere and have all that with the snow as well. It's going to be absolutely sick. Um, I only just started snowboarding as well, so it's pretty sick to um, pretty sick to actually go snowboarding abroad this early, I guess, because I only started in August last year, or August, September, around that time, uh, so I haven't snowboarded for the longest amount of time, to be honest, and to be honest, I absolutely love it, really, I absolutely love it, um, it's perfect, it's an amazing hobby, it's but it kills your legs. <laughs> like after the day, you are just your legs just want to fall off. Like <laughs> straight up, they're coming off. Like there's no other way about it. Uh, but I think the Kev 77 has rolled up again. Uh, so he's been getting on my door, which is pretty sick. Um, if you guys ever want to join my lobbies on Forza Rise of Doom, just join my session. Don't worry um, about coming in like messing up or crashing into people or anything like that just join my session and have some fun uh, drift with us we'll normally be in a concentrated area kind of like the docks or the airfield something like that oh that angle is terrible could get the rear out then uh, but yeah just join my session uh, come have some fun catch some nice lines and just catch some drifts so come check that out um, Kevin's already, already um, also rocking Riverside uh, vinyl in his car, as you can probably see slightly in the picture there. Um, one problem, me and the Kev, we don't have the most of amazing connection together, so we get these little uh, lag spikes, which obviously on his screen I'm a lot closer than he is on my screen, I guess, because it happened when I was following him as well. Because um, I kept tapping him, and I told him that I kept tapping him, and he was like, You're nowhere near me. It's, there's no way near me, like, you didn't tap me once, I was like, what? So it must be something like that, because he's normally right at my door, so... 
Don't know what's going on there. I lost the drift there for some reason. Uh, but yeah, he's also rocking a Riverside paint job. Um, might be something happening with that soon. Uh, but you guys can find out about that closer to the time. <laughs> so yeah, he's starting to get a little bit closer to the door now. I don't know if the connection has cleared up a little bit. But I'm guessing it has. Um, very nice drifter. He's a beast. Um, so check him out on YouTube. I'll put his link into the description below. Uh, he's got some nice videos up there. Some very nice tandems. He shows lines as well. So go check out his YouTube. Um, he's a beast. So a bit of a shout out there. Uh, but I just love coming on Forza Horizon 2 and just chilling, drifting, catching some very smooth lines. Especially like this. It's so smooth. It's so relaxing. And it's just amazing, especially when there's someone like this on your door. It's just so good, so good. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoying the more kind of interactive Forza Horizon 2 videos. The me just driving around in single player, etc. Having someone on my door, it kind of adds that effect of excitement, if that's the word. I don't know if that is the word, um, but yeah, <laughs> it felt like it was the word. Uh, but yeah, Kevin's ruining ruining my door right now. So it's the two kebs going at it right now. <laughs> We're going at it, bro. Oh god, went in hard. Went in very hard. Fucked it up. Okay, we got it back. We got it back. <laughs> I kind of lose my angle there a little bit, I don't know what the hell goes on, but I seem to lose my angle on that last last circle. It's just not the best, um, but this car is absolutely amazing. It is, it is the Kev's tune as well, so it's absolutely amazing, I'm not going to lie. I haven't tuned a car like this, it's just got the perfect amount of power, the perfect amount of stability. Uh, when I first came from my 240SX into this one, it was hard to get used to at first, but when you get used to it, the snappiness, the stability, it's just all perfect, so that's sick. Look at that smoothness, bro. Uh, uh, rip it, rip it. Oh, I went in too much angle there, I fucked him up, uh, but I'm going to spin this around. I'm going to try and go behind him, but I think he's going around the other side now. What the fuck? Where are you? Are you hiding? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I see if he wants to go in front of me, but I don't think he will. He, he normally likes following, so I'm going to see what happens there. I'm not the best at following people, so we've got to see what happens here. Um, I need to learn my throttle control a little bit better. Uh, because following people, obviously a lot of people don't drift the same speed. Um, so I've got to learn throttle control not to get as close. I need to kind of learn their speed before actually going in. Uh, so I use the brake a lot at the moment, which to be honest I shouldn't be doing. Like Stuff like that I tap the smallest amount, which is kind of, an, kind of annoying, but you've got to learn somewhere. And I... I don't know, I wasn't doing intense tandems and like pauses before, but I did used to like tandeming, um, but never really learned throttle control that much, because obviously I'm new to the wheel. Oh shit, the stairs of doom. They absolutely wrecked us. Um, but I'm new to the new to the wheel, so it's good to learn this shit. Uh, obviously, it's, you've got to correct a lot quicker, uh, seeing that it is 900 degrees as well. Uh, it is a lot easier when you're running the same amount of, the same amount of power because he's running exactly the same tune, so it should be a lot easier to get on his door. Uh, but I'm just following here. I, oh, I went a bit. I got a transition back a bit quick on that bit. I lose him a little bit. Uh, but I don't know what it is. It must be something to do with the wheel. I just I drift so much quicker. Uh, maybe it's because I don't have as much angle as he does, but. I don't know. It's probably something to do with that. It's just like when I lose someone in a drift, I know I can catch them back up. Oh, 
little love tap, yo. So we, me and the Kev, we are killing it. We've learned each other's uh, drift styles, um, which is good to find someone with kind of kind of the same drift style as me. Um, obviously, I've got a lot better of the wheel as well, so that's kind of helped um, with my drifting, obviously, which is good. Um, but yeah, Riverside going hard right now. Going hard, a little bit of a little bit of a drop there. Dropped a little bit of of a clue, you know. <laughs> Don't drop too many clues. But I love this car. I love this car. I love this game now. Uh, Forza Forza Five was a little bit of a letdown for me, um, but Forza Horizon Two has brought it right back. I'm not gonna lie. Love this game. Just chilling like this on someone's door, best thing ever. And Forza 5, they kind of took that away, which is kind of annoying. But oh wow, I fucked up. Uh, which is kind of annoying. But obviously, we'll get back from that. We'll get back. Especially with a game like this, in my eyes, they recovered. Um, maybe in some people's eyes, they might still like Forza 5, etc. Uh, but for me, I never got into it never got into it since they take away those uh, like private public lobby things I don't know what they were called exactly now but I think it was like public private lobbies I can't remember now uh, but they were sick that was probably the best thing Forza have ever made um, you could just make tandem lobbies call it like tandem lobbies everyone who wanted to tandem just came in and just started tandeming so they kind of took that away but with Forza Horizon 2 um, it does feel a little bit a little bit more kind of community based compared to Forza 5. Forza 5 was just that was just a lobby jumping. You could just go from the lobby to the lobby. Obviously, if you had a lot of friends, you could just make a private lobby. Um, but Forza 5, you're not going to have a lot of friends that want to tandem, if you know what I mean. Um, so that's that. That's my opinion on the Forza franchise, I guess. Um, but it's good to talk to you guys. Good to talk. We're killing it right now. We are absolutely killing it. Oh god, went in a bit too fast there, so I had to throw in some more angle than I should have. Uh, my controller's turned off right now, so that was one handed, yo. But this section is perfect. It's just a perfect tandem section. You could just ride doors on any of these corners. It's crazy, but I think I'm going to call it a day here. Uh, that's 12 minutes of absolute awesomeness. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Go check out the Kev as well. He's an absolute beast on this game. Um, he drifts, tandems, uh, jump in our lobbies if you're ever, 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 ever online. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Woo!